everyone this is Jimmy so I know I just posted a video yesterday and I'm supposed to be decorating this tree I got the tree up I got the lights up there's the decorations <laughs> I have tape on back of this chair because Miss Molly over there likes to scratch it but anyway I need to decorate my tree but I'm not I'm going to make a video. I just got excited about writing things in my planner. This is my art area here. And then usually I have a long desk coming out here, but I took it away for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then, oh, hi. Hi. That's Miss Luna. Over that side of the room is my husband's area. He had a train table right there. He took that down for Thanksgiving because we had long tables here for Thanksgiving. So that's his spot. That's a communal spot there. We all use that computer. This is my planning area, which is very messy. So anyway, I'm going to do a video on Christmas planning now, even though I'm supposed to be getting ready for Christmas. This is just way much more fun. So let's get going. Okay, here I am again. I did a video yesterday setting up my December planner in Olivia, so you can go see that below. I've also fixed my box with my holiday washi tapes in it. This is such a nice little box. It has a magnetic clip. It came with my mother's hearing aids, so I can't leave a link below unless you want to spend $5,000 on hearing aids, which I don't think you do. Those things are expensive and they keep breaking. I keep having to send them back. But anyway, she can hear better some of the time. I wanted to show you a little bit. I wanted to go through some Christmas planning because I thought that'd be fun since it's going to be Christmas. I started doing it a little bit today and I got excited about it. So I thought, oh, I need to do a video. But before I show you what I have in here, I'm going to show you my past December Christmas planning. This obviously is not planner perfect. I got this journal from Michaels and this was in 2020 when I first started planning this way. It's when I first found out about planner perfect and before I dove into and bought the planners from planner perfect I wanted to try it out myself to see if it would work for me. So I bought this at Michael's. It's just so interesting to see how planning has evolved. This is expenses, expenses. I don't know why I did that there. And then I did a page Christmas baking. Look how messy and undecorated this is. <laughs> so that was my first year of Christmas planning. This was the little calendar that I did myself, and I didn't have all the pretty washi. I just had what I got from Michael's, which they do have pretty washi sometimes. And then I did my December goals, and I wanted to mess with a tip-in, so I made my own. I put, I choose relationships that are mutually fulfilling, harmonious, and supportive. Oh, I like that. We'll need to remember that more. So I did some goals. And then, this is my first week. I know I said this is going to be Christmas planning, and it is. Just wanted to show you how far, how far I've come. How different my planning is now. It was so much fun in these first days. It really opened up a lot for me and made me think more intentionally about my days. And what I was doing back then... I started doing a week on this page and then I did my needs and my wants so I could incorporate them into my week. So anyway, that's, oh, and I was doing a little more painting. The presents are stickers, but I painted the tree because I didn't have the decorations. I painted these. Yeah, a little watercolor, and then I, I think that's felt pen. Did some little 
experimenting. This is stamps. These, that's watercolor painting I did. This was a big stamp. And this, I wanted sparkly for the new year. I still have these cat stickers that I use. So that's my first Christmas planning. Very basic. Then, in 2021, a little bit different. Still not as pretty, but it worked. So on the gold pages, I put Christmas gifts to buy, other thing gifts to send to relatives, pies to order to send people, and then goals, cinnamon rolls in the morning with deviled eggs and bacon. That's our traditional Christmas breakfast. I make the deviled eggs the night before, and then we put fresh cinnamon rolls in, the canned kind. Those are the kind my children love, and they offer vegan ones too at the grocery store, so get those. Put the bacon on in the morning so people can smell it. My children are all 20 years old and older now. I have four kids. But, so obviously they don't get up early. I guess some younger kids do, but mine don't. So I have to have bacon to wake them up. And then we always have prime rib, Yorkshire pudding, which is just a nice English, traditional English dinner. We actually had Chinese food the last Christmas, so that was nice. All right, so that, that was my only planning for 2021. And then 2022, oh, look at the back of that. What was the back of this one? Oh, I wish when you buy them, they would show the front and the backs. These are both Planner Perfect size wide. And there was a tip in with this on it. I like that plaid. Anyway, this is 2021, or 2022, so this is last year. I was doing Coco Daisy by then, as well as these three are Coco Daisy, these three are Planner Perfect. I actually preferred Planner Perfects last year. Now look how much prettier that is. This is all Planner Perfect washi tape and stickers. Except for these numbers. These numbers are Coco Daisy. I know they already had the numbers in there, but I like putting my own on because it looks pretty. Now, isn't that much prettier than than this? Look at the difference. That or that. So, this year, or last year, I like the way I did it. I did my to-do list and I tried to put them in order of when things needed to be done. I needed to switch these two because we have some December birthdays. So send my best friend Tammy her gift and card, make brownies to send to my nephew, buy my sister something and send it to her, and then a gift and a card to grandpa. So I need to do all those first. And then, pies and cakes to relatives. Got those listed. And then, create our holiday photo card. Get two books of stamps. And then, buy gift cards for relatives. Other gifts to send. Gifts for people here. See breakdown on next page. And then little candy gift baggies too. These are my little neighbors that have little kids. And then I did a breakdown of my kids and my husband. And I was doing a new health plan. I'm always doing a new health plan. So that was my, oh, I like this. I did the washi tape over the edge. Makes the pages feel different. I like this. 
I need to go back and look at this. So anyway, that is my, that was last year. And then when I was doing this year's, I actually looked back. I just couldn't remember what I did and just couldn't get the motivation to start. And a lot of times all I need to do is look back on the year before and then it gives me the incentive and it's a good starting place. Like, oh yeah, that's what I did last year. I'll do that again. So here's my pretty Planner Perfect journal. Oh, it always sticks. I put too much uh, of that tape stuff on here. All right, so this is my first page of Christmas planning. I don't know what I was thinking with the colors. I highlighted it doesn't match, but oh well. Um, so I have, you know, my children listed. My husband, his is an Amazon list. My mother, and then the other people we have to buy for. Well, we don't have to, we choose to. And then on the next page, I love this page. I love the pink. I did December to do. These are Coco Daisy stickers. And I made the same mistake again, putting the pies and cakes to send before the birthdays. But I like my handwriting this morning. <laughs> It's funny, different days, your handwriting can be different. A lot of times if my handwriting's too shaky and big and ugly, it makes me stop and take a deep breath, like oh, calm my nervous system down. And then I write slower and more meditatively. It calms my whole system down. So it's a nice, um, I don't wanna say trigger, what's the opposite of trigger? It's a nice, time to realize that I'm stressed. It's, it's a nice signal for me to slow myself down. Anyway, so that's pretty. I'm happy the way that came out. Those are my only two Christmas pages in the beginning. And then what I showed in another video is my December. I haven't decorated my monthly page yet. I don't put a monthly in the beginning of this one because I have my yearly with the month back here. I don't wanna to have to do it twice. And this way it gives me more pages in here if I wanna do an extra week, or if I, oh, this is today, if I want to use two pages for my weekend spreads, you know, it just gives me a little bit of extra room. So, you know, and I just make my own weeks. So I did do this little bit of planning. I did this in November, I believe. Uh, my husband's parents are gonna come visit from New Jersey. So I just have what we're gonna do Christmas Eve, Christmas, day after Christmas. His mother is the type of person who likes to stay busy all the time. She doesn't relax very much. We relax all the time. I am very good at relaxing. <laughs> so when she comes, I try to keep her busy because she just needs to be doing stuff. It's like my husband, he could never have a recliner because he would never sit in it. He doesn't sit that long, which is very handy when I need help around the house, but I'm trying to get him to breathe deeper and relax more. So he's getting there. And these are just Christmas activities and outing ideas for when they're here. So the Whitewater Center has light, has a trail that you walk on in the woods that's all lit up with Christmas decorations and lighted mushrooms and stars and all kinds of stuff. That's a lot of fun. And you can ice skate there too. That's just a fun place. It doesn't cost to go in, it just costs for parking. It does cost if you ice skate. And then Burkdale is a shopping center near us and they also have ice skating in the winter it feels like a little hallmark town there's lights in the trees there's christmas music playing there's cafes shops you know it's just a lot of restaurants best thing is it's got a barnes and noble so i love to go by barnes and noble that's always fun to go walk around there and they have a movie theater too speedway christmas in case it's raining or the weather's not good 
and it's just this huge, huge display of lights all over the place. There's like big tunnels of lights that you drive your car through. It's just done up really big and really nice. And then at the end, you can watch a movie, like a drive-in movie if you want, included in the price. And then the Caddenville lights, that's a, like a little town near here that you drive through that's every house and every tree is lit up. So that's fun. So anyway, that's my Christmas planning. I love the way that this page turned out. I like it neat and clean like this. So anyway, happy holiday planning. And I'd love to see some of your plans. And also, the Planner Perfect group is a good place to post some of your planner stuff. That's always fun. Thank you so much. Happy holiday planning. Bye-bye. See you soon. There's Buttercup. She's the one that you usually don't see. She always hides. Well, maybe I'll let her wake up from her nap before I decorate the tree.